Hey you guys, it's me Rachel and today I'm back with another wig video for you guys and I'm super excited to show you guys this blunt cut bob wig. So we're going to get right into it. So this wig is from Love Me Hair. If you couldn't tell by the shine on the hair and just how gorgeous it was, it's from Love Me Hair. And this is their 5x5 lace glueless loose wave lace wig. And when I tell you guys it's actually glueless, it really is. The only thing I use on this is got to be glued spray. And I really didn't even have to do that because it does have an elastic band. And then the lace is just flawless, which makes it easier. Um, but I do think that the gel combined with the got to be glued spray is better if you want a really melted look. So keep that in mind. The color is natural black. And I got mine in 14 inches, which is a total of 194. They always have Klarna, Afterpay, Zip, all of that. However, the 14 inches is sold out. So I'd recommend getting it in 16 inches unless it's restocked by then because as you guys will see later, I do cut it a little bit to get that blunt cut look and I absolutely love how it turned out. Yeah, 16 inches will just give you guys a little bit more to work with and cut it however you like if you want the look that I achieved. So I'm still trying to figure out how to master a closure wig that's like a bob with no baby hair. So we're going to keep attempting it until it's perfect. So I feel like knowing that I wasn't going to do any baby hairs and knowing that I wasn't going to like bleach the knots or pluck it, I really had to get the front right. So I really reiterated using the hot comb to flatten the front and just really work it out the best way that you can. You really have to take your time um, when it comes to wigs. One of my favorite things about this wig was the hair that's on it. I feel like the hair was super shiny and beautiful. And once I cut it to that perfect bob length for me, it was just amazing. It had like all the movement as you guys saw in the beginning. Um, and it was just gorgeous. So you're going to be using a lot of got to be glued spray in like the top crown area to make sure that it lays as flat as you could possibly get it. Um, that's always the most important part for me. And then the rest seems to kind of flow, you know, the best that it can. But I would definitely reiterate spraying the top and really straightening the root and then, you know, putting a layer of got to be glued spray as you guys will see me do. I feel like that's the key to getting it like as flat as you can. I love how this look turned out. If you guys want to see how I did it and like how I cut it and everything, just keep watching. The only product that I put in this hair um, is got to be glued spray towards the end just to hold the curl. So like as I'm cutting the lace off and stuff, I leave the flat iron curls and then at the end, I brush them out and you can achieve the look that I got. So as always, we love Love Me Hair, guys. I'll leave this wig linked down below and all the specs on it. And if you guys are interested, be sure to check them out at the link down below. And if you guys want to watch me style this wig from Love Me Hair, then just keep watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!
Stop trying to get the best of me. No matter what they say, baby. 